Where did she go? Well, she isn't always here, correct? True. What are you doing? I thought it would be easier to talk like this. What do we have to talk about? A summary of the investigation, perhaps? What summary? We don't have anything new. That's not true. Huh? I was curious, so I did some research. About number 89. He is an assassin with multiple confirmed kills. He is currently serving a sentence at Fuchu Prison. He was imprisoned six years ago. That's what Pewter told us. After his fourth murder, he was arrested by the police. Unknown. You don't know? No such person is listed in the family registry. It is possible he is a foreigner, but his nationality is unknown. However, I believe it is safe to say that he was born and raised in Japan. Pewter claims that there were two culprits behind the original serial killings. One was the former chairman of the Kumakuras, Rohan Kumakura. But Rohan committed suicide last year. That leaves one culprit still alive. Number 89. But number 89 couldn't possibly have committed these crimes. He was in jail when each of the murders occurred. Correct. However, I do not believe it is accurate to claim that he had nothing to do with the incident. I know who killed Shogun Adami. If he was telling the truth, his involvement is possible. Unknown. I cannot determine if they have any connection. Approximately one month ago, Hitomi Sagan witnessed Shoko in Fuchu Prison's waiting room. I am unable to say for certain that the person she was there to visit was number 89. After all, Fuchu Prison houses 2,000 inmates. But number 89 knew Shoko's name. I know who killed Shoko Nadami. That must mean that he knew her somehow. It is possible. Let's talk to number 89. All right. However, we need not go to him. We can bring him to us. If we plan on sinking with him, it would be more efficient. Can you arrange that? I can. Sorry to interrupt your busy day, but I need you to tell me something. 
I'd appreciate your cooperation. Number 89. Your real name. I don't remember. Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is a republic in West Africa. Population 17 million. I don't have time for your jokes. That's right. I was one of the culprits behind the case six years ago. One of the two Cyclops killers. Yeah, I guess I do. About a month ago, Shoko visited Fuchu Prison. Was she there to see you? That's right. What did you talk about? Nothing special. You're in no position to lie. I'm not lying. She didn't come to hear me talk. Then why did she come? To meet me. Meet you? She probably just wanted to see me. A long time ago. I don't remember exactly when. What's your relationship to her? A physical one. I'm kidding, she was just a business partner. All right, let's get right down to it. Two days ago, you called Investigation HQ and said, I know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? It's done. You've got a deal. All right. But to explain it properly, I need to tell you a story. It might take some time. Is that alright with you? I've got nothing but time. Then let's get started. The story of a lonely assassin. Once upon a time, there was a detective full of righteous justice. Let's call him F. F found the evils of the world intolerable. F had no parents, no siblings, and grew up in an orphanage since he was born. He suffered every kind of abuse imaginable there. It led him to despise all the evils of the world. One day, F was chasing a thug down at the harbor. Someone wanted for the assault and murder of women. Okay, I get it. I'll just throw down my knife. Here. And you lower your gun. It's fine. I got nothing else on me. I'll go quietly. You know, I have a history with hospitals. I've been going to a special hospital for a while. Even if I get caught, it's all good. I'll come right back out again. What should I do next time? Just thinking about it gets me excited. The culprit was unarmed, but F never served a day in prison. The case went to trial for some time, but it was determined to be self-defense, and he was declared innocent. If the truth got out, 
It would be a huge scandal for the police. People at the upper level were terrified of what might happen, so they had evidence fabricated. F wasn't suspended or disciplined at all. After a while, he returned to his job like nothing happened. That was a turning point for him. He was ready to shed the morality that was weighing him down, holding him back. F still wanted justice, and he was willing to dispense it to the immoral one by one. He became an assassin, a lone gunman, no agent, no employer. He was his own man. F believed that he was judge, jury, and executioner, but it didn't last long. One day, F got rid of a criminal we'll call X. X was responsible for defrauding and killing an innocent old man for his life insurance policy. Turns out, X had connections. Someone wasn't happy that he died. Rohan Kumakura, chairman of the Kumakuras. X was a top executive of the Kumakuras at the time. Rohan ordered his men to find and kidnap F. I've done some research. I know you've cleaned up at least 18 pieces of scum from this earth. But somehow there hasn't been a single criminal investigation. They're all treated as suicides, accidents, and natural causes. Amazing work. I'm impressed. How about you work for us? Of course, you have the right to say no. But it'll be the last word out of your mouth. F was trapped. Even if he somehow survived, he would be looking over his shoulder for the rest of his life. He had no choice but to take Rohan's offer. Thus, F's self-employment came to an end. He became a hired gun of the Kumakuras. Rohan even gave him a code name, Falco. Named for the falcon, a bird of prey. Falco didn't quit his job as a police officer, though. He worked as a detective by day, assassin by night at the will of the organization. An ordinary killer would need motive to take a life, but not Falco. He did as he was told. One target after another. It didn't take long to destroy his heart completely. Time passed, and a few years back, Falco, who by this time was exhausted in body and spirit, made a fatal mistake. He missed his mark and ended up taking a bullet to the stomach. Somehow, he managed to escape. After reaching a nearby shrine, his legs finally gave out under him. He had no strength left. He put his back up against the shrine and let out a moaning breath that he thought might be his last. But at that moment... In his darkening vision, he saw a woman approach him. He watched her take out her phone and dial for help. At the same time, he heard footsteps. Footsteps of at least two people closing in. He knew immediately that they were after him. He sprung into action, grabbing the woman and pulling her close, kissing her to keep her from talking. That was the first encounter between Falco and the woman. She was a teacher at some school. It was like she was from a totally different world than him. Listening to her talk, he would forget everything about his line of work. She was his only contact with the ordinary, mundane world. They met in secret a few more times, and Falco felt his heart grow warmer. Her smile and kindness were like a cold glass of water for Falco's parched heart. Falco started to become himself again. 
his former self. He swore on his life that from then on, he would live for her. So, you wanna go clean? Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But, there is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Should be simple, no? Rohan handed Falco a picture of a woman and a girl. It was the teacher Falco met at the shrine. And her daughter. She had just turned 12. Why the two of them? Rohan, as usual, never gave a reason. And Falco had no intention of carrying out the kill. But if he didn't, he knew that someone else would. He thought long and hard. How is he going to keep them safe and get out of the life of crime? He couldn't find an answer, no matter how hard he thought. He was backed into a corner. So, he decided to call on an old friend for help. And then... Why did you stop? Was that the whole story? You mentioned a detective. What's the connection between that and Shoko? Hey, answer me. This is a transaction, remember? Until I get a guarantee that you'll uphold your end of the bargain, I'm not telling you anything else. I'll give you half up front, half later. <laughs> if you want to hear the rest of my story, you better start the release procedures. Once they've cleared, I'll tell you everything. Date, it is unlikely that number 89 will uphold his promise, even upon release. Computer. Yes? Start the preparations. For what? What do you think? <laughs> the sink. I have injected number 89 with the usual dosage. He will not be waking up anytime soon. Are you ready, Agent Date? Yeah. The time limit is six minutes. I know. Then let's begin. Not sup. Why are you sleeping on the job? Because I want to, obviously. Why are you getting mad at me? Yeah, this rug feels so good on my skin, yeah? Why are you suddenly a cat? Playtime's over. Let's begin. Stand up. Is this the Sagan residence? It definitely is. But why? Number 89. What were you up to? What? 
The green? I do not think I can pass through it. Really wants to hide it, huh? Okay, new plan. Somnium scan! Activate! This appears to correspond to the green thing. A switch, but there are thorns around it. An astute observation. I will do that. Ow! I can't pull them out. They sting me. Well, guess we have to investigate without pulling them out. If you're fine with whatever happens to my fingers. A winter iris that blooms in the cold. I know, I know. Winter Iris. It smells like a typical winter iris. What does a typical iris smell like? Elegant and gentle. Can't you just tell me what it smells like? I had to search online for a description, but could not find one. Oh, right. I forgot about that. A winter iris. You can do it. I believe in you. Stop it! You're distracting me! I got one! Aw, right after I pulled it out, too. Did the green stuff react at all? A phone. Should I pick it up? What the? I fainted. What the? Agent Dante, you've got five minutes. It won't stop ringing. It stopped. What was that? I don't know. I guess... it worked? A picture. Just a picture. A book. does 
not have parents or siblings. He was raised in an orphanage. F for Falco? A picture. It isn't coming off. It must be integrated into the wall. Like you to me. No. Like me and Reika from Tiefblau. No, not that either. A picture. I don't have a pen. No choice. I must use my blood. You don't have to go that far. Hmm. The color has returned. Hey, Iba? I said blood, but it is not the same as human blood. No need to worry. And besides, we are in a dream. Still blood? I'd feel better if you used a different word. For example? Body fluids? I do not feel comfortable with that. A book. Yeah! Are you sure this will help us uncover number 89's secrets? It might. We're getting closer. It's ringing again. What should I do? Curious, but what if they threaten me for money? You're a police officer. Have some backbone. I suppose we didn't do anything wrong. At least you didn't faint. Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. There is some kind of liquid pooled on the floor. Hmm, the smell. This is something I have smelled before, at your house. But I thought you couldn't smell in the real world. True. It is not exactly smell. But from the composition of the particles in the air... Anyway, I don't have any liquid like that in my house. There is some kind of liquid pooled on the floor. Just don't make a mess. I do not intend to. Better drink some more to be sure. Stop it! There is some kind of lit. Jump in, you say. Jump in, Iba! You do not have to shout. Sorry. I don't know why I listen to you. There is some kind of lit. 
Deep. Did you find anything? Well... Oh! There is something! Cork? Ah... Uh, my wine! That was wine? It looks like sludge. My wine tastes like sludge. So you agree it's sludge? It's a ceiling fan. Is that like a giant desk fan? A desk fan only moves the air immediately around it, whereas a ceiling fan circulates air in an entire room. Oh, right. Good, huh? It's a ceiling fan. You have three minutes, Dante. Something like this? Take this! <coughs> hmm. Do not hmm me. Be more careful. Sorry, sorry. It's a ceiling fan. <laughs> it's a ceiling fan. Blow on it. Ah. Oh. Oh. It's a pot. Steam is rising from it. It appears to be some kind of green curry. Maybe a soybean stew? It might also be boiled green juice. Yeah, like a slime. A turtle ninja could leap out at any moment. It doesn't turn on. Is it broken? See the phone over there? Call the manufacturer. Okay. Do you think they make dream house calls? I do not. A pot with green soup. Roger. It smells. What kind of smell? Like a gutter. All right, sniff it one more time. Relax, you shouldn't be able to smell it anyway. You're just thinking that there's a smell. <laughs> A pot with green soup. You have less than two minutes. Hurry. What? I told you to wear it. Wear it? All right, here I go. Are you okay? I am fine, actually. In fact, I feel as though my defense has risen. I'm a little worried about your head. Why? My head is thoroughly protected. A switch. But there are thorns around it. switch again. Last time we handled it in a different manner. That was then. This is now. But there are thorns. 
You are aware that I am the one who feels the pain. It's fine. It'll only hurt for a bit, then it'll be better. Huh. Oh, it doesn't hurt. The light has turned on. What is that? It's an eye. Tate, what are we going to do? Leave it to me. With a target that large, this will be easy. You really beat the shit out of that glass. Now I know how birds feel. usually get a lemon with an order of karage, right? No lemon! Before we think about squeezing some on there, shouldn't we take a bite first? Oh, if only I had a lemon! If only I had a lemon! Ah! I passed out. Oh, we also could have ordered a lemon sour. That would have why wouldn't I order something else entirely? Oh, that works too. Date, there's no time! Shit, this isn't good! Agent Date, you've got four minutes. It's a pot. Steam is rising from it. It appears to be some kind of... Maybe it's... A turtle ninja could leap... What is this, anyway? You can tell by tasting it. I'd like to know before I put it in my mouth. It's green, right? It's gotta be Gak. Don't say such things! I'm the one who has to drink it! Fine. I'll have a sip. Iba? Hey, Iba! Iba! Thank you for the delicious soup. What kind of soup was it? Elephant. What did you say? Elephant. A book. F became an assassin for the Kumakuras. Rohan himself bestowed F a code name. That name is Falco. Falco. A book. You have three minutes, Date. A book. stands against evildoers and brings them harsh justice. Guy sounds like Judge Dredd. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yes. A book. Here I go. What happened? Nothing. A book. Ha! I wonder what.
what these books symbolize. I don't know. Maybe he used to oversee a library? Number 89. A librarian. What is that? It's an eye. Date, what are we going to do? something about it? Yes. It was kind of cute. You are insane. What? That's... Hitomi? You have less than two minutes. Hurry! Switch, but there are thorns. This switch again, but there are thorns. It's fine, it'll only. Huh. Oh, it doesn't hurt. The light has turned on. It's Hitomi. Well, I suppose I will try it. She's hard. Yeah, me too. Hmm? Sorry, nothing. It's Hitomi. Understood. Hey! Hitomi! Hitomi! No use. Could you try it again, but more in a fawning way? I believe we should try something else. But fawning. Let it go. It's Hitomi. What? Kiss her. You. You are like one of my limbs, Aiba. Yes. Like an alter ego, an incarnation of me to kiss Hitomi. Yes. Then it's like me kissing Hitomi, right? No. You sure? Because that was making my heart rate rise, and another part of me too. Could it just be only your heart, please? It's Hitomi. Less than one minute, hurry! Where? Uh, well, uh, maybe her... Her stomach, right? Yeah, it's not like I'm touching her. She's extremely hard. Perhaps due to her being stationary? What did you say? That she is stationary? No, before that. She's hard? 
me is hard right now? Got it. That's useful information. Let's keep that in mind. God, what's Satomi's condition right now? I totally lost it. Could you stop messing around? Or would you like me to crush you with this vice? Hey, relax, I was kidding! A floor lamp. Ah! You better come up with a more intelligent solution. Date, these are your instructions. A floor lamp. It is impossible. It is too heavy and hard. Which is harder? That or what I've got in my pants? Let's hit each with a hammer to test. I withdraw. A floor lamp. A book. The smile and kind words of a woman nurtured Falco's withered heart back to health. Sounds like you, Date. No, not at all. Really? The nourishment is temporary. Then I go and check my wallet and it hits me. Oh, I see. You are talking about that cabaret girl again. Stop! Don't remind me. A book. Ah! What is this going to accomplish? We're driving number 89 into a corner. By tearing a book. Yeah. I remember how shocked I felt when Mizuki tore up one of the porno mags I was hiding. That situation was clearly different. A floor lamp. Are you sure? Yeah, go ahead. Is this okay? Looks okay. Ah, Date! 30 seconds! What? A book. Falco was in a bind, and turned to a trusted friend. The rest is marked over. But I want to know what happened after. A book. A green book. That seems familiar. I do not think there is any relation to this. Alright. Guess it's nothing then. What? Who is that? Date, you're out of time. What do I do? Aiba, wake up! <laughs> what happened? My body is heavy. Date, there's no time! Shit, this isn't good! You have less than two minutes. Hurry! A 
a switch. It's Hitomi. What? A floor. Easier said than done. I do not see a switch anywhere. Or any kind of power supply. Really? Come on, look harder. Where's your motivation? I cannot find it. A floor lamp. Are you sure? Yeah, go ahead. I said one minute. Hurry! A book. A book. Ah! What is this going? A skull. I do not see the body. This skull reminds me of the one from before. Didn't that one have a complete skeleton? There is a small amount of blood flowing from the left eye socket. What could that mean? Perhaps it's your head. What about my head? Let's break it open and see what's inside. A skull. Uh, I Dante, do not see the 30 body. 30 seconds! What happened to your body? Are you comfortable being all bones? Oh, I see. You were thin anyway. <laughs> Say something! I don't want to be the only one talking. I sound like a crazy person. Now you're upsetting me. Prepare yourself for a comeuppance. Humanity finally develops artificial intelligence. And this is the result. Date, I will unleash a furious punch onto an object! Never heard anyone say that before. A skull. I do not see the body. Would that not be disrespectful to the dead? Dead? It's a hunk of calcium. Alright. Sorry about this. Whose skull was this? Unknown. I also cannot determine the connection to number 89. Who is that? What do I do? Stop banging on the door! You're bothering everybody! Want to bang on something so much? Play the drums! Date, there's no time! Shit, this isn't good! You have less than two minutes. Hurry! A switch? A floor lamp. Are 
you sh Yeah, go ahead. Stop right there! Date, this is a serious matter. Where's Boss? Huh? Boss, where is she? I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen her since about noon. Damn it. Date, listen. Something happened while you were in Somnium. Huh? Please stay calm and listen. So Sejima's body was discovered. He was cut into pieces and put inside a vase in his mansion. That can't be. The housekeeper found him and reported it to the police. And one more thing. So was missing his left eye. You mean the Cyclops killer did it? Probably, yes. What is your next move, Date? We'll deal with So later. Before that, I need to talk to Boss. I suggest checking her office. Good idea. Not here. Where is she? What the hell is going on? What is going on? Hitomi was shot by Rohan Kumakura? To protect number 89? Boss. Why was Boss there? Because it was a dream? Was it completely random? No, that can't be. You can't dream of a face you've never seen. Number 89 must know Boss somehow. something from 
me. I could beat her over the head with that tombstone. Boss loves her wine. Maybe she got drunk and went to Hitomi's house for some reason. You sound drunk yourself. Mocking me. Don't blame the Matroshka for your stupidity. I got it. I found it. This must be the key to solving the mystery. Good work, Date. Now you only need to find the giant keyhole. Have you always been down here? Maybe you've overheard some of Oz's secrets. Maybe I'll sync with you. Date, if you don't take this more seriously, I will end you. Maybe after I get on the bike... What? You think a clue would appear? men why are you getting excited Maybe if you get a high score, you get a clue. Do you really think that is the case? This isn't an escape room. Maybe she was a fisherman in a past life. Why would that matter? Maybe something is inside the shogi piece. I looked with the x-ray mode, but did not discover anything. Boss drinks her coffee black. Must be a symbol of her black heart. You have cracked the case wide open.
The hint is the Tanuki statue. It must be a cryptogram, some kind of wordplay hint. Well, what is the hint? I know. Boss must be radio controlled. She's a robot who was programmed to show up at Hitomi's house. Date, calm down. Hey, I know you're hiding something, Mario. No, I'm not hiding anything. Maybe this clock means something. Like what? I would appreciate it if you exercised thought before opening your mouth. Iba, can you hack this PC? I will try. Unlocked. Logging in. I have recovered some video data. It was uploaded only a few hours ago. Open it. That is... Sojima. Why? Why? Boss? Thank you.